This video is the fourth of a five-part series that looks at fanless Thin Mini ITX tiny PC cases. The fifth video will compare thermal test results between the four cases. This is the Tor Metal UP2, which was released in 2017 and was only available for a short time before being discontinued and replaced by the Mini ITX DP2. It is about 8.9 inches wide, 8.7 inches deep, and 2.3 inches tall, about 2.9 liters in volume. Initial testing indicates that it can safely cool 45 watts from the CPU. One downside with this case, compared to the previous three, is that it does not have mounting holes for Wi-Fi antennas. Components used in this build include the Intel i3-9100 CPU, Asus Prime H310T motherboard, 16GB of RipJaws DDR4 SODIMM memory from G-Skill, and a 500GB 2.5-inch Crucial MX500 SSD. Let's move on to the build. For this video, we will be in Cahuita, Costa Rica at 6 a.m. The SSD is placed on the bottom of the case and is fastened from underneath. SATA data and power cables are connected to the SSD. The motherboard's input-output shield is installed. The motherboard is then placed on the motherboard standoffs and fastened down. The SSD data and power cables are connected to the motherboard. The case's power and power LED wires are connected to the motherboard. Thermal paste is applied to the CPU. A CPU block is placed on the CPU and pressed down to evenly spread the paste. Thermal paste is then applied to the CPU block and to the first heat pipe. Paste is also applied to a heat pipe bracket and the bracket is fastened to the left heatsink. A front heatsink is dropped in front of the motherboard. Thermal paste is applied to a second heat pipe.
The heat pipe is then connected to the front and right side heat sinks. Thermal paste is applied to two more heat pipe brackets that are then fastened to the front and right heat sinks. The CPU block interfered with the screwdriver here, so an Allen wrench had to be used. Thermal paste is applied on the heat pipes above the CPU. A plate is then added to hold the CPU block to the CPU. A tinted, tempered glass top panel is fastened to the case. Finally, four adhesive pads are added as case feet. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more fanless PC content and click on these videos for more PC assembly guides.